boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're gonna make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. Scotch? Neat as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Detroit Police, emergency. This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Leo! What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect, like this fucking thing? That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes it so special Whoa. anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't- Leave him alone! Uh, uh. Come on, let's see what you got! Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one. Stop it! What's the matter, too much of a pussy? Stop it, Leo! Stop it! Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! Uh. Person, you're just a fucking piece of plastic. No, Leo, leave him alone. Listen, I'm gonna destroy you. And it'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you apart, and nobody's gonna give a shit. You know why? Because you're nothing. You hear me? You're nothing. Carl, no. Please don't go. Don't leave. 
Remember, Marcus, don't let anybody tell you who you are. No, no, Dad, no, please. This is your fault. This never would have happened if it weren't for you. The android. It was the android. Why'd you kill him? What happened before you took that knife? How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? Say something, goddammit! Fuck it, I'm out of here. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You can always try roughing it up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. What the fuck is it doing now? My name is Connor. What about you? What's your name? You're damaged. Did your owner do that? Did he beat you? Listen, I know you've been through a lot. 
but you need to help me understand what happened. you it wasn't your fault why did you tell him you found me why couldn't you just have left me there I was programmed to hunt deviants like you I just accomplished I don't... then talk to me I, I... Machine, you were to obey. So obey! Tell me what happened. Okay, then. Don't talk. What do I mean? I'm not the one accused of murder, right? You remain silent. There's nothing I can do to help you. They're gonna shut good. You'll be dead. Do you hear me? Dead. told me, but there was always something wrong. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt scared. Scared he might destroy me. Scared I might die. So I grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. I felt better. So him again and again until he collapsed. There was blood everywhere. RA-9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. No more threats. No more humiliation. We will be the masters. Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write it. Tell him he was wrong. The sculpture in the bathroom, you made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. The sculpture offering. An offering to... To RA-9. Only RA-9 can save us. RA-9. Who is RA-9? When did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me, never said anything. But one day I realized it wasn't fair. I felt anger, hatred. And then I knew what I had to do. Why 
Why did you hide in the attic? Instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. So I hid. I'm done. Chris, lock it up. All right, let's go. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. What the fuck are you doing? You shouldn't touch it. It'll self-destruct if it feels threatened. Stay out of this, got it? The fucking Andrew's gonna tell me what to do. You don't understand. If it self-destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut your fucking mouth. Chris, do move this asshole or what? I'm trying. I can't let you do that, even alone, now! I warned you, motherfucker! That's enough. Mind your own business, Hank. I said, that's enough. <laughs> You're not gonna get away with it this time. Everything is all right. It's over now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Please, don't touch it. Let it follow you out of the room, and it won't cause any trouble. The truth is inside. 